This is Paul Clay's artwork known as the Mocker Mocked. It was done in 1930 and it's in New York, New York at the Museum of Modern Art. This is actually a painting, oil on canvas. Let's talk about the element of art known as line. To draw, an artist moves a pointed instrument such as a pen, pencil, crayon, or brush over a smooth surface leaving marks. The generally accepted name for these marks is line. Line is probably the oldest and certainly the most direct means of visual communication. It is also the main element of drawing, although other elements such as value, shape, and texture are also important. Lines can be used in many different ways, depending on the intent and the style of the artist, the instrument used to create them, and the surface on which they are made. Rapidly drawn lines can quickly capture a person's actions and attitude. An artist can use a more unhurried, controlled line to draw an exact likeness of a carefully posed model. Paul Clay wasn't interested in capturing action or in making an exact likeness in the mocker mocked. He used a single unbroken line to draw a portrait. And although it is not a portrait of a particular person, his line scurries, turns, and twists across the page in a playful way before it finally comes to rest at the point where it started. Clay used what might be labeled a consistent line in his portrait. Notice that the line's thickness and value remain consistent all, the, all along its entire length, although it twists and curves in many directions. Lines can change from dark to light or from thick to thin. They can be curving or straight, unbroken or interrupted, long and short. How the artist uses the element of line expresses feelings or ideas about a subject.